However, certain tax benefits to startups and investments made by sovereign wealth or pension funds, as also tax exemption on certain income of some IFSC units, are expiring on 31 3 2024. To provide continuity in taxation, I propose to extend the date to 31 3 2025. Moreover, in line with our government's vision to improve ease of living and ease of doing business, I wish to make an announcement to improve taxpayers' services. There are a large number of petty, non-verified, non-reconciled or disputed tax, direct tax demands, disputed direct tax demands, many of them dating as far back as 1962 which continue to remain on the books, causing anxiety to honest taxpayers and hindering refunds of subsequent years. Honorable Speaker, sir, I propose to withdraw such outstanding direct tax demands up to 25,000 rupees pertaining to the period up to financial year 2009-10 and up to 10,000 rupees for financial years 2010-11 to 2014-15. This is expected to benefit about a crore taxpayers. One crore taxpayers would benefit out of this. Economy then and now. In 2014, when our government assumed the reins, the responsibility to mend the economy step by step and to put the governance systems in order was enormous. The need, for the need of the hour was to give hope to the people, to attract investments, and to build support for the much needed reforms. The government did that successfully following a strong belief of nation first. The crisis of those years has been overcome, and the economy has been put firmly on a high sustainable growth path with all-round development. It is now appropriate to look at where we were then. I repeat, it is now appropriate to look at where we were then till 2014 and where we are now only for the purpose of drawing lessons from the mismanagement of those years. The government will lay a white paper on table of the house. The exemplary track record of governance, development and performance, effective delivery and Jen Kalyan has given the government trust, confidence and blessings of the people to realize whatever it takes. The goal of Vikasit Bharat with good intentions, true dedication and hard work in the coming years and decades. With this, Honorable Speaker, I commend the inter interim budget to this August House. Jai Hind. Item number two, Simati Nirmala Sitamanji. Sir, with your permission, I rise to lay on the table the following statements under Section 3.1 of the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2003, Medium Term Fiscal Policy Come Fiscal Policy Strategy Statement, and Macroeconomic Framework Statement. Item number three, Simiti Nirmala Sitaramandi. Sir, with your permission, I rise to move for leave to introduce the Finance Bill 2024. जदि आपन को हम वीडियो टी भल लागिला तबे हम चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा भी बुलंतु नहीं